Argentina tirelessly provides football with one incredible talent after another. Gets the ball into the penalty area. What a goal that is! Oh my word! The hero of our today's video is 17-year-old Claudio Echeverri, who is already trained with Messi and recently destroyed the Brazilian national team at the Youth World Cup. So now we are going to introduce you to the future football superstar. Subscribe to our channel and let's get started. The hero of our video is nicknamed El Diablito, which means the little devil. That alone is enough to get intrigued by these young men. Claudio Echeverri was born in 2006, already after Leo Messi made his debut for the Argentinian national team. He grew up, started playing football and managed to train with Leo in the national team camp. Think of yourself as an old person now. It happened in March 2023, when the Argentinian youth team was allowed to train with the main team and even play a friendly match. It was El Diablito who impressed the team stars the most. Echeverri looked quite spicy. We were watching him and it shows that he has a lot to give. It's nice that coaching staff bring younger players to enjoy with the older ones. Angel Di Maria praised Echeverri. By the way, we can get quite a memorable story. The devil will replace the angel in the Argentinian national team. Beautiful! Claudio is a River Plate player. He joined Los Millonarios at the age of 10 and since then he has caught the attention of the media several times. For the first time, he was loudly talked about back in 2017, when 11-year-old Echeverri destroyed his peers from Juventus, scoring four goals and providing one assist in one match. All of his goal contributions were diverse and beautiful. It was the style and ease with which the boy did everything that even then attracted the attention of scouts from all over the world. The next significant event was the signing of a professional contract with River Plate in early 2023, which El Diablito earned with his performances for the youth team. What is of interest to us is the 25 million euros release clause in the deal, which rises to 30 million in the last days of each transfer window. This was reported by Argentinian journalist Herman Garcia Grova. Given what this guy has been doing in recent matches, this amount seems ridiculous. Literally every club in the Premier League and a huge number of other clubs in Europe can afford him. Actually, buying Claudio for 25 million now, he can easily be resold for 3 to 5 times that amount in a few years. That is, assuming he doesn't go straight to a top club. If River Plate knew how fast the youngster would progress, they would have negotiated a completely different release clause. Now the club hopes to raise this figure to at least 50 million. By the way, like this video if you enjoy learning about young talents and would like to see more of these videos on our channel. Another highlight for Echeverri is his debut for the River Plate first team, which occurred on June 23rd in 2023. Claudio was subbed on in the match against Instituto and immediately provided an assist. A dream debut. In total, at the moment of creating this video, he has four sub appearances for his club. So far, he has not started the match. However, everything is yet to come. Of course, the aforementioned training with the Argentina national team and Leo Messi also was significant for his career. Obviously, that moment gave him extra motivation to develop and succeed. And it was his performances for the youth national team that revealed El Diablito to the world with new strength. The fact is that the U-17 World Cup 2023 is currently underway where Claudio is the captain of his team and leads the Argentinians. Just the other day, Argentina destroyed their most fundamental rival, Brazil, with a score of 3-0 with Echeverri scoring all three goals. In general, the Argentinians are going through the tournament exactly as the senior national team did at the World Cup in Qatar. They lost the first match, but after that, they just kept winning and have now reached the semifinals. Claudio is obviously compared to Leo Messi. He plays as an attacking midfielder, wears number 10 and is the captain and leader of the team. In addition, in the match against Brazil, he scored an identical goal to the one scored by Messi back in the days. Just look at it! After all this, there will only be more comparisons with Leo. No wonder. In the match against Brazil, El Diablito not only scored three goals, he completely dominated his opponents. 
7 shots, 6 out of 8 successful dribbles, 93% pass accuracy, and 10 out of 15 duels won, and a fully deserved player of the match award. Bravo! In total, Echeverri has scored 5 goals in 5 World Cup matches. He is surely on his way to becoming the MVP of the tournament. So what can Echeverri do on the pitch and is he really like Messi? Let's figure it out. In short, Claudio is very similar to Leo. First, second and third, his strength is dribbling. Echeverri is right-footed, but if you look at his work with the ball, you'll see that the guy clearly admired Messi. Argentinian coach Daniel Brizuela called El Diablito quite simply, a mix of Messi and Maradona. No pressure, boy! Claudio knows how to stick the ball to his foot. His dribbling is rapid and unpredictable, but at the same time, elegant. When you look at his ball handling, you get the impression that it's impossible to take the ball away from him. You can see that he annoys the opponents a lot and they are forced to foul him out of frustration. At the same time, it's worth saying that Echeverri resembles the late Leo, the one we see now. If you remember, at the start of his career, Messi also had insane speed and ran around the pitch like a rocket. Claudio doesn't have outstanding speed. He just has it at a decent level. He solves episodes with technique and intelligence. Looking at his other strengths, his finishing is particularly impressive, and his decision-making is very quick. Claudio understands very well how to perform a shot in every given episode. Here, for example, he oriented himself and tipped the goalkeeper over. In this episode, he skillfully beat the goalkeeper and scored into an empty net. Here, he technically scored with one touch. In the aforementioned match against Brazil at the FIFA Youth World Cup, El Diablito scored all three goals in different ways. With a shot from outside the penalty area, after breaking into the penalty area and hitting the far corner, and after beating the goalkeeper in a one versus one. Echeverri is a playmaker, so his passing is also very good. Passing accuracy of 90 plus percent is a standard for him. And although he only scores at this World Cup, he has four assists for the U17 team. He also marked his professional debut for the club with an assist. Recently, in an interview organized by Adidas, Leo Messi and Zinedine Zidane discussed how unfortunate it is that the position of the classic number 10 is now disappearing. Well, Claudio is the player who can reverse the trend. He combines the qualities of an old-school playmaker who brings joy to defense with hard work on the field. And although he primarily likes to attack, you can see episodes like this in his performance. The prospects of this player are obvious. He has already been linked to several European football giants, including Real Madrid and Juventus. However, Claudio himself has a different dream. I dream of playing for FC Barcelona, besides River. Because I'm a big Messi fan and I used to watch him play in Barcelona, so I carried that from a very young age," Echeverri said. Interestingly, in Claudio's hometown of Resistencia, there is already a mural in his honor, and you can see these guys' parents in the photo. It's just unknown where fate will take this talent, but there is no doubt that it'll be a fantastic journey. Friends, write in the comments what club you would like to see Echeverri in and whether you believe in his prospects of becoming the leader of the Argentinian national team in the future. And watch our other videos and take care of yourself. Bye-bye!